What's this? A video that's a little bit late? Whoa, what a shock. Yes, this is a new series. This is the expansion to The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. This is T-Shirt Sucks at Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. They added a whole bunch of new rooms, new enemies, new bosses, and even some aesthetic changes. So, um, we're just gonna have a look-see for those who have been living under a rock. I'm gonna be starting off by doing my first ever daily run, which was done on Halloween, the day after its initial release. So this run was alright, uh, a bit wonky near the end, but uh, considering I have hardly ever touched Afterbirth before, both in the real world and in this game, not too shabby, especially starting off with one of the new items, the being Sackhead, which is to many people, including myself, a bit broken since if syn it can synergize w well with other items and it basically turns a lot of the pickups into sacks which provide you with a mixture of coins, keys and bombs which you may or may not know. If you don't then that's what exactly what it does. See? They're everywhere. So what do you know? It starts off pretty strong. Eep's hair is layering over the sack head but I'm sure that's a visual glitch they can iron out in the future. Speaking of which, the reason, one of the reasons why I held back in doing the video, videos, the playthroughs which I recorded a while ago was A, procrastination obviously, two was waiting for most of the patches to be done to iron out all the bugs and issues that they had in, in their initial like week of Afterbirth's release. And there are a lot of updates and uh, patches along the way, so I wanted to make sure to for all the up for most of the updates to be done. Pause for no reason. Maybe just reflecting on life, what have you, which is pretty good. And thirdly, well, more and more pr procrastination really, and some technical issues. Having a bit of trouble with my blue Yeti. But it turns out one of the main issues was I can't have my iPhone plugged in via USB as well as my Blue Yeti microphone. I don't know why that is, maybe it's interrupting the signal, I don't know much about USB other than the fact it stands for Universal Serial Bus. But A, I got it sorted out but it took me a couple hours and even an entire night uh, a couple of days before the commentary for this video. So. Yeah, who'd have thought that that was the minorest of issues that was causing me such a huge deal of problems. This is one of the new bosses of the game, Littlehorn, and he's a fan favourite and I can see why. Castlevania 2 reference, for the win, or loss, depending on your outlook. The reason why I love this little guy as much as everyone else really, is because he's an interesting sort of tiny version of a boss that is not that tough, well, we'll soon I'll find out later. Uh, I think his name is the uh, Dark One, I think it is. The, you know, that little black guy with horns. I think I did that thing earlier. I think I mentioned, I think I referred to him in that way in a previous video, but memory's gone a bit bl blank. So another item, um, a pacifier, which makes you smaller and gives you a soul heart, I think. I, I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, I'm looking at a pretty small screen at the moment as of talking in this uh, microphone. Which is a pretty good microphone, it just picks up everything and due to it being used on a laptop, a bit of interference so I had to use noise reduction to remove it on all the audacities. So yeah, that wasn't a very long floor, moving on. So we get Curse of the Unknown, one of the worst curses to get since, well, you don't know how much health you have, so can't take as much risk. The other two curses I hate are Curse of the Lost, where you can't see the map, and Curse of the Blind, where you don't know what pedestal items you're getting. I don't think, uh, as far as I know, none of the items can help you out now. So many would have stuck with Razorblade because of playing as Eve and it's a great synergizing item for this little character, but I decided to go with Mum's sanitary towel, 
which is what it actually is, but they called it something else. I think Sanctuary Tower is a better name for it, because that's what it is. I mean, come on, when, when was the last time you saw a bloke touch a Sanctuary Tower like that? Um, pausing for again, again, this has been a while, so I can't remember all the details and why I pause and what have you. All I know is that this was done in Halloween and I'm playing as Eve. So, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, for some reason I go for Sanctuary Tower, because apparently making people afraid is better than making you stronger. Make light worth of pin and on my way. So there's another new boss, no not boss sorry, new enemy, the yellow flies. Dying one hits, appear in hordes, and is that is hordes the right term? Colony? I oh, know, group, I'll just call them a group of flies because just in case people go, whoa, that's easy, that's that too. Yeah, not tough, just shooting one hit, uh, dying one hit, even with the weakest here, so yeah. Not a bad enemy, just kind of weak. So you're probably wondering why the gameplay is slightly laggy and stuttery and what have you. Like I said, one of the reasons why I held back in editing was because I wanted to make sure that the capture, the recording was m more fluent and, and you know, a lot smoother. And that was the issues I had earlier on with Afterbirth because they had to do overlays for new floors and performance isn't as uh, fast or as you know good so it requires a bit more processing power I think just for uh, an update like this so yeah I had to try and reconfigure the game itself by removing some of the overlays just uh, tweaking the computer settings as well like changing the performance settings and the properties just general twerking tweaking sorry tweaking with the actual computer and the, the game itself so I added some mods in later videos which should be arriving in a few days depending on how much free time I have and some of these mods are pretty awesome and a lot of them are compatible with Afterbirth now so um, I will post all the links and the descriptions of and of you know the people that should be credited for these mods in future videos descriptions uh, in, the, in the description below of the future videos and so you can add them yourself and have a good time. I will say this though, there is- oh hang on. Now if I remember correctly, I do pick up the little brimstone, I mean, <laughs> who would resist? I mean, sure I have Curse of the- Curse of the Unknown, but come on. Who could pass up on such a rare opportunity? Dog, beeping again. Go and pick it up. Yep, missing page, of course I gotta pick that up as well. No, wait, go back- oh no! Why did I pick a little brimstone? How could I- okay, I get it, I, I have cur I had Curse of the Unknown, but how did I- why did I pass on- Oh, and another curse, just- just my luck. Oh, I'd pick up Gish, but- oh no, not Lil Brimstone, oh god, no. One of my favourite items, too. Ah. Stupid past, Adam. Stupid past, Adam. I look in anger at myself, my past self, of course. So yeah, like I said, in in, fu in future videos, I will be playing a modded version of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. So, stay tuned for that. Some mods are just for visual uh, presentation. But the major mod I add is one that changes the game quite dramatically by adding new enemies, new rooms, and even bosses here and there, and maybe the visual changes as well. So, 
you'll probably recognize it, but if you haven't, then um, you'll just have to wait and see. It's a pretty decent mod, and i got to say, it's impressive how this person didn't just change the sprites, but also just added new mechanics to the enemies and stuff, and mixed and matched it a bit to go on top of the already wide range of enemies. So, yep, uh, tune in in a few days and you'll see what I'm talking about. Hopefully it will differentiate these videos from the billions of other Binding of Isaac videos out there, which just play the standard game as opposed to an improved, much more diverse version. So, yep, fingers crossed. It uh, fingers crossed the future videos with those mods are much better than they are here. As you can see, continued stuttering. But if you just bear with me, just for a few days, you'll see an improvement in both performance and in quality. So, cheers for watching. Um, this, uh, this part of the video, this video is in two parts. So, check that, to check out the second part as well. Which will be out not long after the the second the this part actually not the, this part of the video. So whether whether it's because I was so good at this that I beat it in two 15 minute parts, or I was so bad I couldn't get to the end. Spoiler latter. Whoops. Risked it for a chocolate biscuit and got rewarded with one of the worst items in the game, Butterbean. I mean, all it does is allow you to fart to push enemies away, and even then, it's not that good at that, so... I stick with the Sani. You can't go wrongy with the magic strongy Sani. Like I'd know I'm a bloke. At least the last time I checked. <laughs> oh, no. Nice good bombing. I think I made that joke. Well, it's not a joke, it's just a stupid line. Speaking of which... I, I, I've got nothing, actually. I, I don't know why I extended it with that extension. If you know what I mean. Well, what do you know? We get to face off against both L Lil Horn and the Dark One in the same seed, which is pretty cool. We get to face both the son and the daddy. I was thinking of another run where I get screwed by the Dark One, because, yeah, kicking ass. Risked it again, got a squeezy. Let's see what awaits us in the next floor. Ooh.